unto the Lord. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome each and every last one of you to the Kingdom International Intercession and Word of Empowerment Broadcast. My name is Apostle Deron Zorn with Divine Order Restoration Ministries International, where we are restoring the order of God, one life, one body, one nation at a time. And it is such an honor to be in the presence of God with each and every last one of you in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto the Lord in this place. In Jesus' name, my God, my God, we want to thank each and every last one of you for joining us in this 42-day spiritual international growth campaign where we are standing on the very promises of God as it is written in the book of Isaiah, um, verse, hallelujah, chapter 43, amen, verse 13, amen, in the name, I'm sorry, verse 19, amen, in the name of Jesus, glory, glory, glory be unto the Lord, he said, behold, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up, do you not perceive it amen glory to god we bless god in this place um, that we shall be a people that perceives everything that he is doing amen glory to god as he is uh, removing things out of our way so that we will no longer be blinded so nothing will be hindering our sight to see that in which he has released in the earth on our behalf where there will be nothing uh, hallelujah keep us amen glory to god thank you jesus from going forth hallelujah going forth my god my god in god's word of truth for our very lives and we bless god in this place in the majestic name of jesus we're going higher to new heights and to deeper depths and the things of god in our purpose in our destiny as we shift from glory to glory from faith to faith in jesus name amen amen and amen to god be the absolute glory thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory be unto the Lord in this place. Amen. We're going to get ready to have our song of worship. And after we finish worshiping, we are going in our song of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Mother Jax, all the way from India, Indianapolis, is going to take us farther into the presence of God as she lift up the world. Amen. In intercession. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then, amen, I will break bread with you with the bread of life. Our speaker for the evening amen who were supposed to be here she does send her regrets amen for not being able to be here with us tonight and we are just lifting them up in prayer amen glory to god thank you jesus with everything that they are dealing with right here right now glory to god god is strengthening them he is yet making a way um glory to god thank you jesus So we bless God for them, for her. Um, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Miss Tina Hopkins. Amen. Um, Glory to God from Cleveland, Ohio. She will come. Amen. And grace us in this place. Amen. Um, In the name of Jesus at a later date. Amen. We just bless God in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go. Amen. Into a song of worship hallelujah who love the name of jesus 
who love the name of Jesus, who know that there is no other name, hallelujah, um, that's greater than his name. At the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Demons flee, every knee bow, hallelujah, glory to God, at the name of of Jesus, so you should just love that name. It just should be a sweet fragrance, amen, unto your nostrils. That it should be a sweet melody unto your ear. Glory to God, glory. And it should be the river that flows out of your mouth, amen. In the name of Jesus, my God. Oh, how I love, I love, I love, I love the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We just love the name of Jesus. Oh, how we love his holy and righteous name in this place. Glory, glory, glory be unto the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We just bless him in this holy place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory be unto God. Amen. Our sound. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we shall not. Amen. We're going to shift to a place of worship. Amen. If that's okay. In Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mother, you can come forth in prayer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Mama. Bless you. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> Father God, we come before you tonight. On the behalf of our country, Lord, on the behalf of our nation, on the behalf of your people, dear God. Lord, we come, first of all, we want to repent. Stand in repentance, Lord God, and ask you to forgive us for all the things that we've done that was not of you, Lord God, in thought or in words. Father God, we just come and ask you to forgive us, Lord. Lord God, we just want to lift you up night tonight, Lord, because you are a wonderful God. You are a mighty God. He makes no mistakes, Lord God. You are the same yesterday as you were yesterday, Father God. Father God, we come standing on your word and your promises. You said you would never forsake us or leave us alone, Lord God. And Lord, I thank you. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the great and mighty God. You are the awesome God. You are the everlasting God. You are the only God. You are our only God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the lily in the valley. Hmm. Hallelujah. You are will in the middle of a will, Lord God. Oh, mighty God. <clears throat> we praise you and we honor you. We praise you for all the things that you've done and all the things that you're going to do, Lord God. We look to the hills from where comes our help. And our help comes from you and you only, Father. Lord God, we just ask you to magnify yourself in our land, Lord God. Holy God, we are your children, Lord. You said you wouldn't get your children ask for bread. You wouldn't give them a stone, Lord God. So, Lord, we're asking you to intervene in our land tonight, Lord God. We're asking you, Lord, to break down the barriers, the chains of darkness. In the precious name of your dear son, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who paid for the price, who gave his life, your only child, Lord, that you gave that we might have this life. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this precious life that you have given us, Lord, this eternal life. Oh, we look forward to looking and hearing and seeing you, Father. Oh, God, we just praise you. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for your your blood that muted shed for us, Lord God. Oh, God, there are so many things that we, we could thank you for, Lord God. We thank you for provision. We thank you for protection. We thank you for your angels, your warring angels, Lord God, over this country, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Holy God, we lift you up. You are perfect, God. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah, Lord. You are our buckler and you are our shield. You are our refuge. Lord, we put our trust in you. Holy God, we stand on your words, Lord God. We stand on your promises, Lord. You said you'll never forsake us and you'll never leave us alone. Lord God, we bind up the enemy's hands. Tonight we come forth, we declare, we decree that we are blessed going in and we are blessed coming out. Lord, you said we are the head and not the tail, Lord God. We are blessed 
And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We are your children, Lord God. Holy God, we just want to magnify you. Hallelujah tonight because you're worthy to be magnified in this place, Lord God. No one, there's no one like you, Lord God. Holy God, you're, you're a holy God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your miracles, and thank you, Lord, for your abundant life, Lord God. We thank you for the things that you have promised us, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. You are the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. And we praise you. We honor you, Lord. We ask you to bless our families, Lord God, each one by one. We ask you to bless everyone on, from this, this on this prayer line, Lord God, that you continue to be with this prayer line, Lord God, and continue to bless the woman of God and her family, Lord God. Lord, we ask you to bless our children, Lord, each one of them, one by one, Lord, you know where they are, you know who they are, Lord God, you know the things that they have need of, Lord God. We ask you to bless them with wisdom, Lord. Holy God, we need your wisdom. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord God, that there is no good thing that you would hold from those who walk upright, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for your righteousness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your truth, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the spirit, your spirit, Lord, your Holy Spirit, Father. Oh, God, we just praise you and honor you because you are worthy to be praised, Father. Father God, we ask you to have mercy upon us and keep us in your, in your loving arms, Lord God. Holy God, watch over us, Father, and continue to, to bless us, Lord, as we walk this earth, Lord God. We pray that your kingdom come, Lord God, and your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven, Lord God. Hmm. We thank you, Lord God. Holy God, hallelujah, we know that there is nothing too hard for you to do because your word said it, Lord, and I believe it. And I stand on it. Hey, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, we ask you to bless every, bless our, um, our military, Lord God. We ask you to surround them with your, your loving kindness, Lord God. Holy God, have mercy on them, Lord. And Lord, give them the strategies how to run this country, Lord. We ask you to bless them, Lord God. Bless their families, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to bless those who are um, that that has in, in, that, that's protecting our country, even in the city, the police and all. Lord God, we ask you to Lord, protect them. Lord God, and uh, put your loving arms around them. Lord God, oh God, we ask you to bless uh, uh, our our president. Lord God, because you said pray for those who have authority. So Lord God, we ask you to. Have mercy on that man of God, the, the man that is over us, Lord God. We ask you to intervene in his life, Lord, and give him wisdom how to run this country, Lord God. Oh, God, you know the things that are going on in our government, Lord God. You know the in, ins and outs, Lord, Lord God. We, give, we put you over our government. Lord, you be the author and the finisher of this government, Lord. We ask you to bless them. President, the Vice President, all those in authority, Lord God, that you have placed. Lord, you placed them there, and now, Father God, we ask you to rule and reign over our country. Rule and reign in our government, Lord God. And, oh God, we come against those that are trying to destroy America, Lord God. We come against that, that enemy, Lord God. We know we don't fight flesh and blood, but it's the principalities and the powers in the air. So, Lord, we come against those principalities. <laughs> We ask you to destroy them right now, Lord. Destroy their plans, Father God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord, you are our help. And you know everything, Lord. You know the ends and you know the outs, Lord God. You know all of it, Lord God. So we ask you to destroy the, the plans of the enemy, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to help. Lord, you told us to pray for our enemies. So, Lord, we're going to pray for them tonight, Lord God, that you have your way with them, Lord God. You know where they are and who they are, Lord God. Oh God, we ask you to um, um, we ask you to put a hedge before us, Lord, and protect us, Lord, from my enemies, Lord God. 
Lord God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord God. Uh, <clears throat> we ask you to bless every family, Lord God. We ask you to bless marriages, Lord God. We ask you to mend the marriages, Lord God, and uh, have your way with the marriages, Lord God. We ask you to mend our, um, our political system, Lord God. We ask you to intervene in it in our media system. Lord God, we ask you to reign and rule in these uh, in our media and our in our um, uh, the marriages, Lord. You reign and rule, Lord God. Oh God, we, it's so much to pray for, Lord God. I ask you to bless our school system, Lord God. We ask you to intervene in that place, Lord God. Holy God, we ask you to have mercy on us. Lord God, and all that we give you tonight, Father, we just ask you to, Father, we place it in your hands because we can go no other place to place our strength, our, our protection in your hands, Lord God. We, let, we ask you to let your kingdom come and rule over us, Lord God. Holy God, we, we know that you are holy God and you, you withhold nothing, no good thing for those who are, walk upright, Lord Lord, you said you, uh, you hear our prayers, but we thank you, Lord God. And we continue to walk and do what you call us to do, Father God. Order our steps, Lord God, each one of us, Lord. Hmm, hallelujah, Lord God. We ask you to intervene in our, our um, churches, Lord God. We ask you to have mercy on our pastors, and Lord, that they would bow and do your will, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. And Unmuted connected to them, Lord God. We ask you to bless them and, and deliver them out of the hands of the evil one, Lord, that they will do your will, Lord, and run the churches the way you want them to be run, Father God, that they will bow before you, Lord, draw them before you, Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I pray, and Father God, I pray for, um, <clears throat> There was something else I wanted to pray for. Lord, I pray for those that are mentally ill, Lord God. I pray for those that you would have mercy on them, Lord, and comfort and all those who are bereaved, Lord, losing loved ones. Lord God, I pray for those who are, who have lost loved ones, Lord, that you would comfort them and be with them, Lord God. And you show them the way, Father. Oh, God, we know that. There is nothing too hard for you, and so we thank you, and we praise you, and we honor you tonight in the precious name and the glorious name, the name Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Bless you, Mother. Ain't nothing like a mother's prayer. Glory, glory. Thank you, Mother. In the name of Jesus, because it is so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Even as I was hearing Mother pray, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even about this country and about the world, I, I, I heard the Lord. He said, look, I've appointed my people over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. But they are afraid. They are afraid yeah. and they have not moved in position. And because they have not mm. Because they have not moved in position. I have made them a terror. Mm. Before those in which they are afraid. And until they repent and come mm. unto me and get in the position in which I have appointed them. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. This type of chaos and confusion will continue to run rapid from the White House. Um to the drug house mm. to the streets of the homeless to the streets that cry where blood mm. cries from 
from innocent blood being shed because my people are not in position the places in which mm. I have appointed oh Jesus mm. oh Jesus oh Jesus it is time for God's people to get in position. No longer be afraid of their faces. No longer be afraid of what man can do unto us. It's time Amen. that we get in our appointed places so that the word of God can go forth. Amen. In the land so the work of God can begin to move hallelujah like never before the glory the glory we got to get in position so that the glory can rise in the land like never before amen in the name of Jesus my God my God oh we're blessing God my Messiah mm, yes Jesus Ah, yeah. We're blessing God in this place. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Be unto the Lord. There is a word for tonight as it is stirring in my belly. Amen. As, hallelujah, I was before the Lord, before the father as i was in my word i i just begin to hear the spirit of the lord utter these words he said tell my people to invest in their promise and no longer their pain who jesus he said invest in your promise and not in your pain we are living in a time where the people of God is investing in the things to accommodate their pain and not their purpose. And, be, and because of this, it is hindering them from obtaining the promises of of God and for such a time as this it is time to shift and invest in the promise so that the word of God can manifest in our lives. Let's go to prayer. Oh, gracious God, I thank you for another opportunity to be before your people. Oh, God, I decrease so that you may increase. I thank you that your Holy Spirit would overshadow me and have his way. Speak through my mouth directly from your throne of grace. Words of activation, words that penetrate atmospheres, words that change the heart and the mind of man and cause them, oh God, to be convicted by your word and turn and be begin oh god to live and operate in its truth so that they can be set free to move in purpose to move in the and obtain the promises and what you have declared for their lives so that they can shift and begin to invest in their promise and no longer their pain have your way in this place almighty god shake the core of the earth its foundation as these words go forth and let them begin to ring through the core of the earth and bring forth a vibration a kingdom sound my god at all shama messiah that will be released throughout this earth oh god into the hearts and the minds of man we also thank you that angels are taking these words to flight and speaking them so that they may enter into the ears. Hallelujah. Of every one who would have an ear to hear your spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, amen. And amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's time to shift um, a new thing. Um, can you perceive it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God has sprung forth. 
his word in our lives and there's promises that's right before us that we can't even begin to perceive why because we're so busy so preoccupied with the pain that has blinded us we're so busy and preoccupied and in investing in that which has caused us pain that we can't even see the promise even though it's right in our faces and so we're missing out on living and operating in God's word for our lives so let's talk about this. Amen. Glory to God. This text is word of truth. Our night re- our reading for tonight um, came from the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 and 32. Here in the text, here in the word of, of God, we find um, God's children that they are in a place where their enemies, where, where, amen, King Nebuchadnezzar is ravaging Jerusalem, where he's ravaging their towns and their cities. He's destroying it. He, we find uh, um, them in a place, the children of Israel, where some have been taken over to Babylon. Some some of them are dying in the siege. Or we find them in a place where the Hebrew Siah, where the land is in a place where it's in torment. It is being destroyed. It is coming to a place of death of 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 destitute and oh my god it ain't pretty like the way it used to be oh my god and god does something very strange amen he does something out the box right um in this text he begin he tells the prophet Jeremiah he tells him he tells him that his cousin was going to come and offer him some land right mm. he was going to come and offer him property um, and he told him to buy it now i say he does some very ironic because at this time Jerusalem is being destroyed the city is being destroyed. The towns are being destroyed by the Babylons because they, they're over there sieging the country, sieging God's people, and they are tearing it down. And then God tells Jeremiah to invest in a place, purchase land. He tell him to purchase land in a place that is being destroyed. Oh, my God. He, he'll do the foolish things to confound the wise. My God, he tell him to purchase this property in this toe up land. This land that is being destroyed. Not only that, you got to understand, let me also let you know Jeremiah's current position. See, Jeremiah was in prison at this time. Right, because King Zedekiah he imprisoned Jeremiah because Jeremiah prophesied on um, the word of truth unto him, and he didn't like what Jeremiah had spoken, what thus says the Lord, and so he put him in prison because he said that uh, um, the hands of King Babylon would, is going to capture the king, and so Jeremiah in prison, and he hears God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Say, purchase this land, buy the field that your relative is going to come and give unto you. And see, many of us, uh, we'd have had the thought uh, in our minds, God, this land is in turmoil. This land is desolate. This land is under a siege, and I'm seeing this land being torn down right before my eyes. I'm seeing um, property being burned. I'm seeing uh, buildings crumble. I'm seeing uh, things being, this land being destroyed, and you saying purchase it? 
See, God did this very strange. He brought, he, he gave Jeremiah this very strange word, even in the midst of his imprisonment. Because he was having Jeremiah to invest in the promise. What was the promise? God had promised Israel after 70 years of captivity. They was coming back to the land that he had promised them. They was coming back to the land in which he was taking them captives from. They was coming back to Jerusalem. That they showed they would dwell back in the land in which he had promised unto their four fathers. My God, in the name of Jesus. Our focus verse, amen, but we're going to walk through the word, amen. Our focus verse is Jeremiah 32, chapter 25. And though the city will be handed over to the Babylonians, you, O sovereign Lord, say to me, buy the field with silver and have the transaction witness. Glory, glory, glory be unto the Lord. He told him to buy the field in verse six. In verse in verse seven. Hallelujah. His cousin came unto him to buy the land. Glory to God. He came over to the prison to Jeremiah and said, you know, buy this property from me because you are the one, you are the nearest relative and and it is your right and duty to buy it. And just as God had given it to Jeremiah, it happened. And so just as he gave it to him and he told him to do it as let there be a witness before them. And when he came into him in the courtyard of God and uh, of the guard and he told him to buy it, he purchased it. The text tells us in verse nine hallelujah let me back up to verse eight he said in verse eight I, I want not to dismiss this he said i know this was the word of the lord amen because god had already spoken it unto him and because god spoke it unto him he followed through with the instruction and the directions of god in spite of what he was suffering at that present time he said so i bought the field from my cousin and he weighed out for him 17 shackles. And then he signed and sealed the deed. Had it witnessed and weighed out the silver on the scales. So let's talk about this for a moment. See, God had given Jeremiah the word before it came to pass before his uncle came here to gave him the word of destruction of the land he also gave him the word that hey his cousin was going to come and ask him to purchase it and because he was very familiar he knew that it was God's voice and in spite of what he was seeing right before his eyes he didn't allow what he was seeing to hinder what he believed amen Jeremiah was a man of faith he believed in God's word. He was a man of obedience. And because of that, even though he was seeing destruction of the land right before his eyes, he still invested in it, even though it was being ruined. How many of us, uh, hallelujah, that God will say invest in something that looks, that is ruined. Uh, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, or is being ruined, oh, my God, uh, because of the promise that God has forward. 
see many a times we look at people that are in desolate places that from one reason or another that they are downtrodden that they're in a place where they're busted and disgusted and we won't even take the time to invest in them we walk by them like a bypass or we look at them with a shameful um eye sets and we might wonder in our minds about their condition uh, but we never take the time or the opportunity to even invest anything as simple as even a word of encouragement we let it assemble oh shia we look at them as if they are nothing as Yeboshaya many. My God, Lord, help us in the land in the name of Jesus. He said, I knew this was the word of the Lord, so I brought the field. He said, I purchased he said, I signed and sealed the deed he had witnessed. I mean, the deed had it witnessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then he said, I took the deed of purchase. The sealed copy containing the terms and conditions, as well as the unsealed copy. And I gave the deed. Hallelujah. He gave the deed to his secretary, Barach. Amen. In the presence of his cousin, in the presence, amen, of the Jews that were sitting in the courtyard of the guards. And that was the witness. He said, in their presence, he gave Barach the instructions, hallelujah, on what to do with the documents. Those that was the sealed and unsealed copies of the deed purchase as well. He told them to put them in a a clay jar so they would last a long time. I want to stop right there for a moment because I want to walk us through this word of truth. First of all, he followed the instructions of the Lord and he signed and sealed the deed of the property. When are we as children of God going to begin to purchase um, the things in which God has um, toward our promise. When are we going to begin to invest in those things that, amen, would lead us, hallelujah, in obtaining um, the promise of God for our lives? We're investing in so many other things. So let's deal with this investment this purchase right quick because um we started out with something very very um enticing something that we need to investigate and so i'm gonna pose this question to god's people around the world throughout the nations are you investing in your pain or your promise so let's talk about it how can i identify where am or what it is that i am investing in if what you are investing in spending your time your talent or your treasure if it is not conducive toward your purpose then you are investing in things that accommodate your pain so let's talk about it see some of the type of purchases that people do amen some of the type of investment that people do to invest to accommodate their pain are things such as this they invest in drugs in alcohol have a shopping habit they have a eating habit in foods they buy friends oh my oh my god um they invest in vanity all over the place oh my god and they invest in those things huh to comfort their pain to give them a temporary fix of the pain that they are enduring in the pain 
of their infliction, they invest and waste a whole lot of their time, their talent, in their treasure. We ain't even talked about, I didn't even deal with, oh my God, I don't shy my Messiah. Um, glory to God, investing your time in, 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 in your job at work. See, so many people, uh, because they're so in so much pain, they cover themselves in work, even in ministry. Don't get it twisted because they do it there as well. They keep themselves covered in, uh, uh, my God, uh, uh, hiding behind work, uh, hiding behind ministry to mask the pain that's on the inside. And they, f- and they find themselves being workaholics in that little Shabbat Messiah to cover up the pain, the wounds that they are enduring so they won't have to deal with the pain. Uh, they sedate themselves uh, in ministry. Uh, they sedate themselves, uh, uh, hallelujah, in, in, in that, that work. Uh, they sedate themselves uh, with drugs, uh, with alcohol, uh, with buying things, purchasing things. Uh, oh, they clothes, they cars, uh, uh, they got uh, they red bottoms uh, and things of that uh, nature. They are uh, cut it uh, My God, mm, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, they're out at the club. Uh, uh, my God, some are just consuming food to bring comfort uh, and then there's others in vanity yeah hallelujah thank you jesus uh, they always on the next fix uh, on the next high trying to figure out uh, what can i do or what it is in this earth that can comfort my pain uh, and so they invest they invest and get no return on their investment because they're investing in their pain. See, God wants you to have a a return on your investment. That's why he said it's time that we invest in our promise and no longer in our pain so that we can have a return on our investment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, this investment that Jeremiah did in the book of Jeremiah chapter 32, when he invested and brought property, brought land in Jerusalem that was torn down, that was then disgusted, that was being seized, oh my God, and were being destroyed. He knew that there was a promise that was coming on the rise that God was going, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, to deliver. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Israelites and bring them back to uh, um, Jer- Jerusalem. That he was going to bring them back. And that there will once again, that land will be rebuilt. That once again, that land will begin to be purchased on that land. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. In verse 43, it says something like this. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. He said, once more fields will be brought in this land of which you say it is desolate and waste without people or animal, for it has been given into the hands of the Babylonians. He said, fields will be brought for silver and deeds will be signed, sealed in witness in the te- in the territory of Benjamin, in the villages around Jerusalem, and in the towns of Judah, and in the towns of the hill country, and in the western foothills and of the Negev, because I will restore their fortunes, declares the Lord my God. Will you invest in your promise and not your pain? My God, in the name of Jesus, because as you invest in your promise, restoration is going to manifest in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory, 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 glory be unto the Lord. After Jeremiah, after he invested in the promise, oh, he immediately went into prayer. Amen. And a portion of that prayer was where our theme came from, from Jeremiah 32 and 25. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And after he came out of prayer, God said to Jeremiah, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is there anything too hard for me? And God is just asking you, I understand that you're in pain. I understand that you're in anguish because of the things that you have suffered. But is there anything too hard for me? 
said, I will restore you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. From that in which the enemy has destroyed, because you serve the God of restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus, just humble yourself under his mighty hands. God said this to the prophet Jeremiah so much stuff I want to go into hallelujah thank you Jesus um, but my God glory to God thank you Lord he said this like this but the Lord but this is what the Lord the God of Israel says I'm in verse 37 I will surely gather them from all the land where I banished them in my fury angry and great wrath I will bring them back to the place and let them live in safety they will be my people and I will be their God. I will give them a singleness of heart and action so that they will always fear me and that all will go well for them and for their children after them. I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good to them and I will inspire them to fear me so that they will never turn away from me. I will rejoice in doing good doing them good I will rejoice in doing them good and will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart yes God and all my soul says the Lord thank you Jesus glory to God and even in the places of the anguish and the places of the hurt and the places of the pain and we just focus on Jesus who is the author and the finisher of one's faith and push allow your heart to come into a place of focus where it will be one in thought so they can be one indeed hallelujah thank you jesus so that your pain will continue to drag you all over the place amen it will could not continue continue to cause you uh, amen to be in in spiritual poverty amen in the name of jesus so that it won't continue to rob you of your inheritance rob you of your destiny rob you of that in which god has called forth in your life because god surely rejoices in doing good for you in the name of jesus god said he'll never stop doing good for you you just gotta hallelujah begin to invest in your pain in your in your purpose in your promise Hallelujah. And no longer invest in your pain. We know in the book of Genesis, Abraham, even in the midst, amen, Abraham invested in this promise uh, all the way back in Genesis. When God gave him the promise, hallelujah, when his wife Sarah died, glory to God, I'm sure he was in great pain and he mourned for a moment and he said he got up and then he went and he purchased a, a, a place for her to be buried, for her to go to rest. And that property that he, that he invested in, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, it was. It was in Canaan. It was a part of the promise. And so that was him just telling God, God, I believe in the promise. When are you going to invest in the promise? What have God promised you? And are you willing to invest your time, your talent, and your treasure in it? Because that's when you're going to begin to see the manifestation of it. What you don't, hallelujah, invest in, you cannot yield the reward of. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So many times we're waiting for other people to invest in us. And we should be the first partakers to invest in what it is that God has proclaimed for our life. Will you invest your time, your talent, your treasure until that in which God has spoken unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So much that I can dive into this word of truth on tonight. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, but I think I've given you enough Amen. To hear what thus says the Lord to beginning so that you may begin to invest in your promise and no longer your pain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory be unto God. It's time to invest in the promise. Glory to God. Jeremiah didn't wait to see. Um, didn't wait until the land began. 
hallelujah, God began to send the people back to the land. He bought in it while it was being destroyed. In the midst of it being destroyed, he bought in it right then and right there. And we got to be the same type of people. People of faith that knows that God has spoken a word. And I'm not going to allow what I see to condition what I believe and cause me to be paralyzed and not invest in the word that God has spoken for my very life. Whether it's personal development, whether it's uh, professional development, what is required of you, what is needed from you so that you can grow to the places where God is sending you, whether it's spending more time in the word of God, whether it's spending more time in prayer with God, what is it that you need to grow where God is taking you, grow into the promise that God has called forth in your life. We got to begin to move beyond and press toward the higher calling that God has called forth in our life in the middle of all of it all of it it we can't quit god we can't give on god give up on god we can't um decide that we're gonna lay our assignments to the side that we're gonna lay our purpose lay our destiny down because we're going through a little suffering because we're going through a little pain we cannot afford to make such irrational decisions why because it causes us to be delayed it causes us to be deterred uh, from moving and obtaining even the very things that god has called forth in our lives and it shows that we don't believe in him it shows our lack of trust our lack of belief and when we find ourselves in places when we're resisting god because those are places of resistance and when we resist God's word. I don't care what side you're on. Whenever you're in any form of resistance, because even as Jeremiah was prophesying to uh, um the king um the king Zedekiah, he told him, "Look, if you fight against the Babylonians, you will not succeed. So if you fight against your purpose, if you fight against your promise, you won't see the manifestation of it." So you, that's why you got to push past your pain. You got to look at your promise and allow your promise from God, amen, to give you the strength to, hallelujah, to be healed, to receive the healing from the Lord of that pain in which you are enduring, in which you are enduring, amen, in the name of Jesus, invest in your promise. Start spending your time, talent, and treasure, your money, in the things that will help you grow and mature into your destiny. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Salvation is free. But my God, there is a cost for the anointing. My God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to listen to a song of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. And then we're going to come back and we're going to open this line up for prayer. And we're going to open up this line for our sharpening moments. Amen. For God's people. Oh, gracious God, we thank you in this place for bringing forth a word of truth, a word of activation, a word to transform atmospheres in the mind and the thought of man that will cause us, oh God, to begin to invest in our purpose, invest in the promise, invest in the very destinies that you have called out for for our very lives without delay investing our time our treasure and our talents we thank you for breaking the shackles of the strongholds of the enemy off our minds and off our hearts that will cause us to deny it that will cause us to deny your god your word of promise lord god we thank you for calling forth faith to arise in our life that we will be a people that live by faith and not by sight in the majestic name of jesus we thank you uh, that no weapon that has been formed against our prophetic destinies shall not prosper as you are contending with those things that are contending with us as you are fighting up against those things that are fighting up against our very prophetic destinies in the name of jesus oh we thank you by the fire 
of Christ, of the fire, the fire, the fire, the Holy Ghost, fire, oh God, that you're burning down. Every lie that you're burning up and consuming, every word every word of deception, uh, every word of oh God, every illusion of the enemy that he has set forth to cause us, oh God, to be blinded from your truth. In the majestic name of Jesus, oh, we thank you. Hallelujah, that you are faithful to your very word that you have declared for our lives God in this place in Jesus name amen 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 are you ready to contend for your faith hallelujah thank you Jesus my God my God because it's worth fighting for in Jesus name contend for your promise contend for your destiny contend 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 hallelujah for your family for your marriage for your business for your ministry for your finances for your health oh it's time to contend and invest in that in which God has called forth in your life because it's worth fighting for in Jesus name amen Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for joining us in this session of our 42-day Spiritual International Growth Campaign. We thank God that this message has been a blessing to your heart and to your mind and that it is shifting you in places where you are beginning to invest into your promise, into your purpose, into your very day, where you will reap the reward of investing your time, your talent, in your treasure in the very word in which God has called forth in your very life. I am Apostle Deron Shea Zorn and I do thank you for joining us in this episode. Glory be unto God. Connect with us by going and subscribing to our newsletter at www.divine-order.org. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And as this message has been a blessing unto you, so into this ministry so that we can continue in the great work that God has called forth in our lives. As you invest in us and so in us, you partake and reap in the harvest and which is being that's being brought forth all over the world due to the work that God is causing us to do in this ministry. It is because of supporters like you that give us what we need, to, hallelujah, to do the work in which God has called for for us to do. In the name of Jesus, come and connect with us and support this dynamic work. Until next time, people of God, go in the joy, the peace, the love, the anointing of our most holy Savior, who is none other than Jesus Christ. And it is in his most holy and majestic name that we have convened in intercession and we have been empowered. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.